you serve a God that stands out, you ought to also stand out. Chapter 1, I mean chapter 19, verse 1. Are we there? Yeah. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was. But because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he never gave up. He ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, Come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus took a step of faith. When everybody else was crowding around Jesus, he decided to stand out. Though he had a challenge, the challenge of being short, but he never allowed his shortness to make him miss the opportunity to see Jesus. But instead he looked for another way of seeing Jesus. He said, though I may be short, but I will go and climb on top of a sycamore tree so that I can see Jesus from the top. And the fact that he was on the top, it means also as Jesus was passing by, he only saw Zacchaeus because he was the only one on top of a tree. You must not allow your situation to distract you from seeing Jesus. Whatever you can, wherever you are, you need to do something to move closer and closer to Jesus. There is nobody who is more deserving to be closer to Jesus than the other one. We are all his children. He said, behold, I stand at the door knocking. Those that hear my voice, let them open and I will come in and dine with them. And we see now revelations being true in the book of Luke. Nine. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Are you sick? I'm waiting to worship God fully when I'm healed. The Bible talks about Lazarus. Who was a friend to Jesus. Who was very close to his heart. Whom when he died, he went to heaven. But the Bible says he was sick. If you are to die sick, it means you will not be saved because you are waiting to be healed first for you to now be saved. That is to serve God. In your sickness, you must serve God. In your poverty, you must serve God. I'm frustrated in my marriage. Yes. In that frustration, continue to serve God. 
I have been fired from work. Yes, Jesus knows. But in that unemployment, continue to serve God. Oh, people are laughing at me. People are laughing at me. Yes, in those persecutions, continue to serve God. God there because Jesus knows you are there and there's a reason why he has allowed you to be there to test your genuineness those that can be trusted with little can also be trusted with more so the little that you have now if you don't serve God with it there's no how you'll get more you serve a God that stands out, you ought to also stand out. When all the disciples in the boat looked at Jesus walking on top of water, they all said it's a ghost because they had never seen such a thing happening. Jesus stood out in that scenario. But also there was another man by the name Peter that when everybody said, no, it's a ghost, it's a ghost. He said, no, my God is a God who stands out. So I will also stand out. He said, Lord, if truly it is you, I know wherever you are there, you can transfer your power. Oh my God. All the way from there, from there. And that power can reach me here. And that power is all in the word. So Jesus, as you are there, I want you to speak a word. Just tell me to come to you. And Jesus said, Peter, come. And the Bible said, Peter started to walk on top of water. Just like his master Jesus was walking on top of water. The disciples were wondering, what manner of man is this? I'm here to speak to you people of God. Don't subscribe to ordinary. Whatever that you do, stop copying what your neighbor does. No, your neighbor can inspire. But there must be an X factor so that you have a legacy. God does not want you to be ordinary. Be like everybody else. Yes, this must be a salon, but it can't be like any other salon. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why you don't mind to go to a mall where there are many five salons and put your own salon there. Because many are the salons that are called, but few salons are chosen. Ay, 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 ay. I cannot just have an ordinary farm and have cows and goats and sheep there and it looks like everybody else. Many are the farms that are called. But few, very few, very few, very... Yeah, 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 yeah. Aish, you need to stand out. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord. It's upon you. The salvation of the Lord has come to your house. Zacchaeus, get on top of a fig tree. Your time is now. Why are you waiting for tomorrow? Today, it's time to stand out. Yes, you have your core employees. You are working with them. Same scale, same salary, same whatever. Same conditions. But because of what you have inside of you that keeps bubbling and bubbling. And the Bible says this is like rivers of living waters. And they overflow from your belly. Because it is just in there. They'll be wondering how, how are you surviving with such a small salary? We are struggling to pay rent. We are struggling. How, how, how come you never complain? How come you are driving this kind of a car? How come you say you are building a house? How come? How come? How come? Say, I serve a God of how come. <laughs> how come means he's a God of wonder. How come? People were wondering, how come he died and rose again in three days? So also you are bound to wonder, how come I built such a big house at such a young age and uh, I'm earning as much as you earn? He's a God of how come. 
you serve a God that stands out, you ought to also stand out.